Shooting the Sig Virtus today, PCP air rifle, 2.2 calibre. We're going to do some uh, sort of running and gunning style shooting on tin cans. <laughs> Space to put accessories on the rails. You've got the original iron sights that came with the gun. Flip up sights. Flip up sights. And you've put uh, a on the bottle. Uh, on the bottles that the gun. You've got the sort of shine of the bottle. Sig emblem on the guard. So we've got a 30 round belt fed magazine. There we are. So you just rotate the belt round and slot the pellets in. I tried a few different turns of pellets and you found that the Crossman's are the best? Crossman Premier Ultra Magnum. Ah, okay. Because, as we were saying, it's not, it's not designed as a super accurate gun, but trying out different pellets, some are a lot more accurate than others still. So you've put a sling on it so you can uh, Stick it over your shoulder, and uh, mainly you've been shooting it. It shoots accurately out to 35 yards, you say, or within an inch or so. At uh... Uh, 20 to 25, it's very well, very accurate for a rapid fire. Yeah, um, and then it loses as you go further out towards 35. That's a 30 shot belt magazine, isn't it? 30 shot belt magazine. Um, the crossmen's I find work really well because they've got a nice thick skirt on them, as you can see on there. Um, but that seems to deform less um, as it travels through the magazine uh, when it's fired. Yeah, because um, it doesn't load into the breech as it shoots it straight through the magazine. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those SIG say to use the pellet seating tool. I've tried these by seating and without, and I find them slightly more accurate when they're simply just pushed in like this. Yeah. As long as you make sure that it is flush in the belt so it doesn't uh, jam as it goes through. Yeah. You've tried a few different tins, haven't you? And cross, uh, crossman pellets aren't too expensive either, are they? No, good buys for many, especially for this sort of rapid fire. Um, nice and consistent. And the quality of the pellet is, is pretty good from what I've found so far. Yeah. Um, and to go to the magazine then, we simply feed it in. Once you're rolling, you're good to go. Yeah, quite simple. So the gun is sub 12 foot pounds power as well. And uh, it is designed to be an accurate replica of the Sig Virtus firearm. And is designed to be the same weight and dimensions. So you've blinged it out a bit as well with a bit of camo. And you've got the pressure switch here of you for the laser. Yeah. Under the green laser sight. Yeah. Yeah. Just a close up of the laser there. So it's got the M lock system on the front of the gun, so you can mount att attachments wherever you want on it. And it's got small Picatinny rails on both sides for attachments. And on the, he's got a Picatinny rail underneath for the bipod he's got on there. Right, so we've got a paper target set out at 20 yards just to try a bit of a group with it. And I'll just show a close up of the, uh, what you have to do with the trigger.
what it is. It's um, a little bit scattered there. We have got a quite a strong right to left breeze today. Um, and it shot. Well, 11 shots and you got quite a few group in there and then a couple of scattered outside but he, wa he wasn't taking his time that much he's just uh, shooting it how, how he wants to anyway So we'll just uh, try a few rapid fire shots now just to see how fast it can shoot. So you can probably make out from the video it's um, not got a silencer on it, it's quite a loud crack. Uh, from the muzzle so you've just put a um, muzzle brake cover on it just to make it look the part but you can buy an adapter to put on the uh, on the end of the muzzle the, the standard, the standard uh, flash hider and screws um, and that allows you to put an adapter for a standard half inch UNF uh, thread on it and yeah. so you can fit any Okay. I think it's a two-stage trigger, but it's it's rotating rotating the belt and then firing. Yeah, and every time you pull the trigger, you've got to just gently pull this, push the trigger back forward. Forward. Which uh, that's quite easy to get used to, isn't it? They changed that when they imported them to the UK, didn't they? Because originally the gun should have been just semi-automatic, just keep pulling the trigger. But I think they were a bit wary of whether they would allow them in the UK. So they tried to slow it down a little bit by having the mechanism where you just pull the trigger and just quickly push the trigger back forward to be able to fire it again then. And it's a fairly fairly heavy trigger on it, isn't it? You've got to give it a good pull. I'm not sure what the, the poundage weight on the trigger is, but... Heavy. Quite heavy, yeah. But it's fine for, for what it is, isn't it? It's a, a fast-firing repeater. It's a fun gun. Fun gun, yeah. Don't take it seriously. No. It's not for accurate shooting. No.